Walter. Hey, John. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. How are you guys? Doing really well. It's, uh, it's got to be a busy summer for you. I'm seeing uh, construction, especially on uh, Weatherwax and Horton. That thing looks like it's almost done. It's, it's moving fast. Yeah. It's pretty mm -hmm. exciting for us, yeah. It's kind of it's kind of cool. I've driven by that corner for years and years and years, right? And I didn't know if anything was ever going to be there. And now this kind of neighborhood is changing. Yeah, cool. they're clearing another uh, lot further down by the wax, so it's gonna it's we're gonna see a lot I think, mm -hmm. popping off. I mean, I grew up near there. I used to ride my bike yeah. down that area, and it was kind of sad when it was first developed, but it's going to be developed, right? You know, so that corner came up for us, and we said, okay. Yeah, well, it's, a, it's a great location. There's 22,000 cars a day. So great location for us, and, and we're, we're pretty excited. When, uh, when do you think that will open? We will, uh, Mercer says it'll be done in, in November. Okay. So mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't have a grand opening date yet, but it'll be, it'll be this year. And then we have, there's a lot on both, two lots, both sides of us, that we will pick our neighbor. So, okay, nice. So if anybody needs some land and, and wants to join us. Not a Taco Bell. <laughs> Not a Taco Bell. <laughs> Thank the, you for debunking that's, that that's for me. That's the, the other, other weather wax. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. John sent me straight on that, by the yeah. way. So I was wrong. The uh, construction industry in Jackson is, is uh, telling us that this town, we are seeing so many construction projects. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And uh, really in comparison with the rest of the state, where uh, it's just cooking like crazy. It's great to see. I mean, I walked over here from across the street and started my day at Todd's Barbershop and then yes. walked around the corner and downtown just looks great. Yes. I mean, uh, there's definitely something to do around here all the time and it's really nice to see. You guys, uh, you guys have been busy. You sponsor a ton of things locally here in Jackson. Um, Gus Macker, obviously. We've got the uh, friendly home. Uh, golf outing coming up. I think yeah. we're sponsoring a whole for that, but just talk a little bit about community and, and, and why it's so important to you and your team at SNBT, John. As, as a bank, whether you're a big bank or a community bank, that's what you do. You, you need to support every community that you're in, and we're in six counties, mm -hmm. and we do a lot in, in all of our locations, but here especially, you know, we, we're 152 years old. We're the second oldest bank headquartered in Michigan. Uh, open continuously, have never closed our doors. New to Jackson though, mm -hmm. so we've hired the right people and we've, we've made a pretty strong effort to get to get out and about, and that's what we do. Yeah, so, so you recently hired uh, Chad Perrine as well. Chad Perrine came over, uh, most recent hire. Uh, great guy, local guy lived here his entire life mm -hmm. and wants to stay and great addition. Chad and I were in a golf league together about 20 years ago, Barrett. I don't mm -hmm. know if you knew that. Yeah, I remember when Chad was just a kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Southern Michigan Bank and Trust is helping JTV out with our new podcast, yeah. the Monday Mornings podcast. We're excited to, uh, to begin that and uh, we start that actually our first taping today. So thank you for your support. We appreciate it. Kick off on that, huh? Yeah, it's we're great. excited. Very excited. As are we. Is this top secret? No, it's not no. top secret. Our first guest will be Ronnie John Cox, who of course is uh, the owner of Technique and former IRL driver. And uh, yeah, we're going to get to hear the behind the scenes of the secrets to his business. So I'm very excited. I haven't seen Ronnie in a long time. Yeah. So pretty he's, excited for the podcast. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, me too. Yeah, he's a busy guy. So mm -hmm. we're going to learn some secrets from him. I'm excited. So we've got, you mentioned, you know, how downtown look, looks great. Um, you've been part of that, uh, a lot of the events, yeah. but uh, also the Michigan Theater, you've been supporting the uh, renovation, restoration of, of that, and that's an uh, incredible project. Uh, you've also been uh, supporting uh, Andy's Angels yeah. for their uh, phase two. That's, that's, yeah. th that's a great investment. Talk a little bit about that. Well, it, part of, again, part of banking is, is uh, supporting um, Supporting the community, there's a Community Reinvestment Act mm -hmm. that uh, I won't get into the volumes of, of that of that requirement of banks. But one of those things is to to support projects such as Andy's Angels, and we made a four million dollar investment in in the tax credit uh, for that project. And those these deals they typically need some government help and they need some tax help, and they sell the tax credits, and that 
came across our desk and we said, sure, we, we definitely want to want to do that. That's great. Also, we've got um, some concerts you're part of yeah. coming up. Oh, yeah, a couple big ones. Yeah, we've got uh, Tracy Lawrence is the first one. Yeah, mm -hmm. Tracy Lawrence at Keeley Park here in uh, here in Jackson. That should be a good one. Now, do you get out to some of these shows? I do. Yeah. I missed the last one. Okay. Um, there was one, uh, Chris Jansen was downtown a couple of years ago, and that one was, yeah. I don't know if you went to that. It was packed. That was a great show. And then uh, I've not made... Like I say, didn't make the last one, might yeah. go to the next one. And then Hillsdale, uh, mm -hmm. the Hillsdale County Fair. People love the Hillsdale County Fair. There's something mm -hmm. about the it's, Hillsdale County it's Fair. It's the oldest yeah. fair in the state, right? So much green space, too. I think people like that. It's the dirt. There's no, there's <laughs> no, no yeah. asphalt. No, yeah. It, it, no asphalt. Yeah, no asphalt. Yeah. It's grass and dirt, and it's a, real, it's a real live fair. I love it. Real dirt. And it's late. It's like after the kids are in school for a month. Yeah, no, I love it. It's great. It's something to do. Um, I remember obviously because my uncle Bill lived in Hills, lives in Hillsdale. We'd go to that fair. It's such a such a good fair. Exciting stuff. I just received a, an invoice yesterday. There's there's a big announcement for the next show coming up. Apparently, okay, right around the corner, sometime right. in November. Uh oh, that's what I was told. All right, big shows. Live music is back. So. Good stuff. Well, John, we want to thank you uh, for all you do for the community, and thanks for all you do for JTV. We certainly appreciate it. Uh, you guys are great. I've said it before. That's where everybody gets the news. Thank so you, John. You guys do great. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. John Waldron, the CEO and president at Southern Michigan Bank and Trust here on The Morning Show. We'll be right back after this quick break. Sandhill Crane Vineyards is the perfect place to relax and have a great time year round. We offer over 35 award winning wines made with 100% Michigan fruit, as well as beer, cider, wine slushies, and sangria specials. Enjoy a fabulous meal from our cafe with a variety of fresh, delicious items made for the perfect wine pairing. Relax outside on our large wraparound deck and patio with plenty of seating available. Don't miss live music every Friday night and a wide variety of events happening at the winery year round. And as a bonus, you can book your stay for two at Annie's Place, right behind the vineyard. This beautiful, serene bungalow offers all the amenities, including a heated indoor pool, an outdoor space with grill and fire pit. Annie's Place in Sandhill Crane Vineyards. Take the short drive from Jackson and see for yourself. Imagine if McDonald's was always within reach. A Big Mac, Chicken McNuggets, Golden Crispy Fries, all in the palm of your hand. With the McDonald's app, you don't have to imagine. Exclusive deals on all your delicious favorites are just a tap away. Grab a free classic or spicy crispy chicken sandwich with purchase of $2 or more. Only in the McDonald's app. Life can be a whirlwind of responsibilities, leaving little time for what truly matters, quality family time. With Keeping It Clean, your trusted residential cleaning partner, our dedicated team will work tirelessly to ensure your home is clean so you don't have to lift a finger. We give you back the precious gift of time, more moments for laughter, and time to cherish memories with your loved ones. Call us at 517-990-5772 to book your cleaning today. Keeping It Clean, a clean home for a happy family. Family owned and operated make professional tree care your choice when it comes to your property. Our certified arborists will examine your landscape and handle all your trimming and maintenance needs. From tree removal to tree trimming and stump grinding to lot clearing, PTC gets the job done. Professional tree care is proud to serve members of the Jackson community using cutting edge equipment and your satisfaction is our guarantee. Visit us online at ptcjackson.com or call 517-499-2820. There are few more beautiful historic places in Jackson than the Michigan Theater. But the Michigan Theater isn't just a part of history, it's a vital part of this community today. We host hundreds of events each year, including classic movies, local, national, and international live music. The combination of our majestic building with our modern entertainment technology makes the Michigan Theater a special place. Please consider becoming a member for only $25. Your membership will help preserve this incredible entertainment venue for generations to come.